guys, so today I'm going to be doing my makeup while answering totally random questions that I got off of Google, just so you can get to know me a little better. So first off is, what would you change about yourself if you could? If I could change anything about myself, I'd say it'd probably be my height. I'm not short. I'm actually, like, pretty good height. I'm 5'6", five, 5'7", five, something like that. But I've always just wanted, for some reason, to be, like, 6'2", six foot, six foot to six foot four. I don't ask me why. I just always have wanted to be. Um, next question is, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? I'd probably say Jamaica. I have been there twice, and it's beautiful. Um, we went on a Disney cruise and went there on a uh, like tour of a plantation, and then we also stayed on a resort in Jamaica for an entire week. And it was like one of the best vacations I've ever been on. It's so beautiful there. So I'd say Jamaica. Next question is, what is your biggest fear? I have a few. Some of them are kind of random. I do not like heights. But it's weird because I'm not that scared of flying. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's really not that big of a deal to me to fly except like land off. I mean, take off. <laughs> And landing, that's a little scary to me. But, like, I don't know. And then also, I do not like clowns. I also am kind of claustrophobic. And I'm randomly scared of getting stuck in elevators. Like, every time that I go in an elevator, I have, like, this literal scare that I'm going to get stuck. Like, it's just going to stop. And we're going to be stuck in it for hours. Which would also kind of add to, like, claustrophobic. That I'd be in a small space for a while. Next is, what is your favorite game or sport to watch and play? I do not care for watching sports. I just don't. Uh, but I do like playing basketball and soccer. Um, just kind of playing. I've never been on a soccer or basketball sports team. Um, my first school that I went to was really small. We didn't even have sports teams. And the school that I'm at now does not have a soccer team. They do have a basketball team. Uh, but I didn't want to play because everybody said the practice was terrible. But we do have to play at least one sport in high school for credit, and so I ended up playing tennis. It was, I mean, fun, but I don't know if I'd do it again. I think, like, the playing tennis is fun, but just being on a team, I don't know how I feel about it. Next question is, where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I'd be 20. That's absolutely terrifying. Um, in five years, I'd see myself hopefully in college. I do want to go to college. So hopefully I'd see myself there. Uh, next question is, what are your hobbies? I like to draw a good bit. I do like lots of art. Um, usually just drawing like with, you know, color pencil markers. Uh, I do paint sometimes. And every once in a I used to do a good bit of digital art. It wasn't the best. I'm better at traditional art, but I did do a little bit of digital art. Next is, what is my dream job? My dream job is to do um, marine biology. I wanted to be an um, exotic veterinarian, but I've decided that I think I want to go into marine biology because I absolutely love um, sharks and other sea animals, so that'll be really fun. My cousin is actually in college for marine biology, and so is his fiance, and I actually talked to her about some information and stuff like that, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, next question um, is, would you say you're more of an extrovert or an introvert? I'd say I'm kind of both. I think um, I'm more of an extrovert when I'm around my friends. I act really crazy. Um, but when I'm like in a public setting, like, you know, public speaking, if I'm like at church or any other like public event, I'm a little more shy. So I'd say both an introvert. Next question is, if you could have any exotic animal as a pet, which would it be? I actually do have an exotic animal. I have a leopard gecko. His name is Jellybean. Um, we've only had him a few months, but I absolutely love him. Um, what's the phone app you use most? Probably um, YouTube and texting. I watch a lot of YouTube, and I text a good bit. So, when you were a kid, did you eat the crust on your sandwich or not? That's like the most random question, but... I do not. I did not, and I still don't, and probably never will. I don't know. I've just never really cared 
for crust. I just don't like it. I didn't eat it, and I probably never will, to be honest. Um, next question. Do you like going to movies or prefer watching at home? Kind of depends, because, like, it's really good when you're at home. Like, you can just kind of pause it and go to the bathroom whenever you want. But you cannot beat movie theater popcorn. Oh, it's so good. Uh, next question. Do you have any allergies? Yes, I have one allergy, and it's dust mites. So it's kind of just all year round thing. They're literally everywhere. Um, my what's my fam what's my favorite family tradition? I'd say I'm trying to think of some of the traditions that we have. We don't really have that many family tr uh, traditions. The only two that I can really think of is actually Christmas traditions. One is actually Christmas Eve. Uh, my mom's side of the family, we play Christmas bingo. My grandmother has it usually, and she buys prizes, like little small prizes, and every time somebody wins, we get to get a prize, and it's really fun. And then another Christmas tradition is every morning in my house, my mom fixes, um, takes in a blanket for breakfast. Uh, next is, what is the first thing that you do in the morning? Check my phone. Literally, that's the first thing. I unplug my phone, see if anybody texted me. And then, you know, go to the bathroom, do whatever. Next is, do you believe in ghosts? To be honest, I'm kind of in between. I'm a little bit skeptic. I don't know if I really believe in them. Uh, it's just kind of difficult to decide if I believe in them or not. So, I'm not really sure if I really do or not. Um, what is my dream car? A truck. I That's literally like the most guy thing I could ever say. But I want a truck so bad, I don't know why. But I just do. They're, I just think they're so cool. I would absolutely love to have one. So, um, what's my zodiac sign? I'm a Sagittarius. I don't really buy into that stuff. I just think it's fun to know what my zodiac sign is and, like, you know, oh, these are your traits. These are who you're compatible with. I think that's fun to, like, look at, but I don't really believe in it, you know? Next is what's something you'd like to learn? I would love to learn um, sign language. I think it's just really cool to learn and it'd be really like useful, you know what I mean? So I think it'd be super cool to learn sign language. Next question is, do you have a favorite Disney character? Yes. I probably Stitch, I absolutely love Stitch. I have a crocheted Stitch. I have a few Stitch figures. I have a Stitch shirt. I literally am wearing it right now. Um, I have a Stitch watch. I have a good bit of Stitch stuff. I just love him. He's so cute. Okay. Uh, next question. If you could have dinner with three people, living or deceased, who would they be? Um, I kind of thought about this a little bit before I did this video so that I wouldn't sit here and think forever. I'd say, one, Billie Eilish. I absolutely love her. I love her music. She's gorgeous. I'd love to sit down with her and talk. Number two, Adele. She's an iconic queen. I'd love to sit down with her as well. Um, and Cole Sprouse. I'm obsessed with him ever since I started watching Riverdale. So, definitely him. Um, I also used to watch um, The Sweet Life of Cody and Zach. Zach and Cody. So, you know, I don't know. I just really like him. I think it'd be cool to have dinner with all three of them. And then last but not, or sorry, I, um, do you believe in karma? No, I don't believe in karma, but I believe you can create your own karma. Uh, next is who's your favorite comedian to watch? Um, I think I have two. Um, one, John Kreist. He is a Christian comedian. He's absolutely hilarious. And also, um, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is literally so funny. Uh, I've watched a few of his videos on YouTube, and he's hilarious. So, probably those two. Okay, guys, so that is my finished look and all the questions that I had to answer. So this is just kind of a little natural look, you know, just a little bit of a base with some blush, highlighter, a little bit of bronzer, just a little lip oil, just a little brown eyeshadow look. So I hope you enjoyed this video of me doing my makeup and you getting to know me just a little bit better. I'll see you next time.